a very good morning students this is a video for the students of class 8 subject science we were studying chapter number 18 that is pollution of air and water this is your lecture number 3 in the previous lecture we have learned about the effects of air pollution and prevention of air pollution now in this lecture topics to be covered are first is water pollution second is causes of water pollution next sources of water pollution means what are the sources of water pollution and then effects of water pollution and in last prevention of water pollution means how can we prevent our water to get polluted so we will discuss these topics in this lecture so students as we know water is a very useful and precious resource we cannot live without water the major sources of water are river lakes ponds seas and ground water the water from these resources is polluted due to many reasons like water becomes dirty after our use and this leads to pollution of water so what is water pollution how can we define it addition of harmful substances such as sewage sil toxic chemicals in water is called water pollution so basically when the harmful substances mix with water then it is referred to as water pollution and the substances that pollute water are called water pollutants what are water pollutants the substances that pollute water are called water pollutants now what are the causes of water pollution causes of water pollution are by human activities water pollution is mostly caused by human activities domestic sewage release of harmful substances washing cloths and bathing these are some human activities that cause water pollution and the natural phenomenon like volcanic eruption is also a cause of water pollution okay so these are some causes of water pollution now what are the sources of water pollution sources of water pollution are the sources of water pollution can be broadly categorized into two types first is point sources and second is non point sources now what are point sources so the sources of water pollution which can be identified means if we can identify that where the pollutants come from then these types of sources are called point sources it means what the point sources discharge their pollutants or waste at a certain location means we can easily identify that at what point and where the pollutants come from like water treatment plant it is a, it is an example of point source in water treatment plant we can easily identify that from what point and from which location the pollutants come from now next is non point sources non point sources are those sources in which we cannot identify the exact location okay 
means the major difference between point source and non point sources is that in non point sources location cannot be identified for example waste from different industries and factories waste like chemicals drugs and paints from different industries are discharged to nearby water bodies and polluting them and detergents released from residential areas in these cases they discharge waste at certain location pesticides and fertilizers run off from agriculture land it is also an example of non point sources let us study in detail about the point and non point sources with the help of a diagram the main difference between two is that point sources are easily identifiable but non point sources cannot be identified now this picture showing some examples of point sources and non point sources waste water treatment plant and factories both are example of point sources how see there is a pipe which directly going into the water means you can easily identify that this is a point where pollutants come from and similarly there is a pipe connected to the factory also going into the water means the waste produced by the factories going into the water it means when you can identify that where the pollutants come from then these types of sources are called point sources means point sources are identified sources now what are non point sources see this city street, streets rural homes crop land these all are example of non point sources because here we cannot identify the location that where the pollutants come from means they don't have any single location okay means the point from where the pollutants come into the water can not be identified in case of non point sources so it means the sources whose location can not be identified are called non point sources so this is the main difference between point source and non point sources next topic is effects of water pollution first is harm aquatic life waste water contains many poisonous chemicals and when these chemicals goes into the sea water then it harm aquatic life okay second is water borne disease means consumption of polluted water causes water borne disease like cholera and jaundice third is it reduces amount of oxygen in water means waste water that is discharged from thermal power plants is very hot and it reduces the amount of oxygen dissolved in water bodies and this affects the aquatic life next is fast growth of weeds washing of fertilizers into water bodies by rain causes fast growth of weeds which consume most of the dissolved oxygen from the water so it reduces the amount of oxygen in water and may cause death of aquatic animals 
and this loss of dissolved oxygen from the water bodies and the nutrient enrichment is called eutrophication okay what is eutrophication loss of dissolved oxygen from water bodies and the nutrient enrichment is called eutrophication so these are some effects of water pollution now how can we prevent our water to get polluted means now we will study some ways by which we can prevent our water first is first way waste water from industries should be treated before discharging into water bodies means the waste water that coming from industries is a cause of water pollution okay it is a major source of water pollution so it should be treated before discharging into water bodies second is minimize the use of pesticides and fertilizers means the use of fertilizers and pesticide should be minimized in field also eco friendly fertilizer should be used means we can use eco friendly fertilizers because eco friendly fertilizers do not cause water pollution okay third is avoid disposing garbage into ponds and lakes means the garbage should not be disposed into ponds and lakes because it also pollute the water next point is sewage should be treated in sewage treatment plants before releasing into water bodies because if it is released into water bodies then it pollute the water that's why sewage should be treated in sewage treatment plants before releasing into water bodies next is bathing of animals washing of clothes and urinating in water bodies should be discouraged because it is the main source of water pollution okay so these type of human activities should not be done because it will pollute the water so bathing of animals washing of clothes and urinating in water body should not be done or should be discouraged now we will discuss the homework solution of previous lecture our first question is fill in the blanks a path the dash layer protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun so answer is ozone layer ozone layer protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays that coming from the sun b part dash rain contains sulfuric acid and nitric acid so answer is acid rain acid rain contains sulfuric acid and nitric acid c part alternative sources of energy dash and dash so alternative sources of energy are wind energy and solar energy so alternative sources of energy are wind energy and solar energy second question match the following cfc means chlorofluorocarbon it damages the ozone layer so chlorofluorocarbon damages the ozone layer sulfuric acid acid drain because acid drain contain sulfuric acid cng means compressed natural gas 
is a clean fuel so match it with the clean fuel third question is what is air pollution list its sources so answer is when air is contaminated by unwanted substances which have a harmful effect on both living and non living refer to as air pollution now what are the sources of air pollution sources of air pollution are natural sources like dust storms in desert areas smoke from forest fires volcanic eruption these are some natural sources of air pollution and then man made sources like combustion of fossil fuels burning of fuels chlorofluorocarbon these are some man made sources of air pollution question number 4 is list some ways for the prevention of air pollution answer is first is by using clean fuels like cng and lpg second is by getting the exhaust of vehicles checked regularly third is by installing toll chimneys in factories fourth point by using alternative source of energy like solar energy wind energy instead of fossil fuels fifth point by planting trees and next is by composting the organic waste rather than burning it so these are some ways by which we can prevent our air to get polluted okay question number 5 is explain all the effects of air pollution so the effects of air pollution are first is greenhouse effect and global warming second is acid rain third is depletion of ozone layer next is health problems so these are some effects of air pollution greenhouse effect and global warming acid drain depletion of ozone layer and then health problems students this is your today's homework question number 1 what is water pollution list its effect second question is what is eutrophication third question list any two causes of water pollution question number 4 name any two diseases which is caused by consuming polluted water so these are four questions you have to do in your fair notebook today this ends for today's lecture thank you